It's been a windy day. Been covering a lot of water and I got on my big pike for the day. Now what I do in that situation, especially when I'm going to land it by myself like this, is I've got the electric motor keeping me straight in the front and I've got everything I need at the back here to deal with this fish. I've got my tools, my hookouts, and my jaw spreaders, and I've got my big musky net. And this is a tip for anybody who loves to chase big, big pike. I had to save up for it, but I got myself a legitimate musky net, and I'm glad I did, because I got a musky-sized pike on. Oh, she's right on the surface. So as soon as I can get her close enough, she's probably gonna, yeah, take another. <laughs> That's about the third one she's taken. She is getting tired. There we go. All right, that hook is in the one side with this big, as I said, this big musky net. I can just hold it right over the side of the boat like this. And look at that big, beautiful fish. Get my hook outs. Get jaw spreaders first. Yeah, if she wants to roll, just let her roll. Oh, come on, baby. And she's free. Then I can let her go. I can get that hook out of the net. Well, she is, water's going through her gill, she's recovering. This musky net has this tangle free mesh, which is great. It's a lot easier to get a hook out of that <sighs> nylon coated mesh. And there's the rapella that did it. Oh, yeah, I know that's a big pike. <laughs> That's a 40 inch fish. And she's recovered and ready to go. I'm gonna just put her back in the net, check my pictures, and once I've got everything I need, the fish will be recovered, and away she goes. Now she's ready to go, the pictures turned out great. She's had water going through her gills the entire time, and she's really, 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 really rare in here. There she goes. There's a kick. And she's gone. All right. 